This is the cup we're going to do in this video. I hope you enjoy it. Hey there. So this is going to be one of those amazing Dawn dish soap videos. I'm not saying the video is going to be amazing, but the results are so cool. So those are the colors I'm going to use. We're already outside. I'm getting ready to paint it. I'm going to base paint this 30 ounce modern uh, curve. It's just a hog from Stainless Steel Depot. I'm going to base paint it white and then I'm going to one at a time blast it with all the different colors I want to use. This is my fluorescent collection. I couldn't find a Rust-Oleum in blue when I was buying these a couple months ago, uh, but there we go. <clears throat> so base coat and then I'm going to do these colors and then I'll show you the cool part. But no sense in really showing you the base paint because you already know what that is. Um, I'm going to use the spray Dawn Power Foam for this one. I want the splatter effect, not the drizzle effect. There are some cool videos that do the drizzle effect. In fact, uh, Lisa Wyatt Art just posted one. Um, so she did one with the drizzle effect on a glitter base, but I am doing this cup with those colors for mine. Now for the fun part. I totally said I wasn't gonna record this. I lied. This is the fun part. So we're just gonna do that. You don't want it so much that it's running like I just did. There we go, now it's doing it. Just kind of all over. Real sporadic on this particular combo. Oh, I forgot to do the another spot. Kind of like that. Just all over. So that's what we're going to do now. I do have some runs. It's okay, I'm going to go back over them in a minute. Kind of blend that in a little bit better right there. Yep. Here's where I ended. I do have this whole area right here that I really messed up on like an idiot after spraying that and it was running. I totally wiped it and it took the base coat and everything. So I sprayed it white, repainted that area. And then I kind of tried to do almost like a distressed look with just kind of a light misting of the white again and then kind of went over it again with some of the other colors to kind of make it not quite so uh, harsh of edges uh, so that's where I ended up this area right here is ugly so obviously I'm gonna not put a big blob of spray right there I'm gonna focus more on these other areas and kind of try and aim for the other um, this to be just very sporadic splatters so what we're going to do is put a thin coat of epoxy. That way, when we get the, uh, you know what, let's put some glitter in that epoxy. Yeah. Let's put some cosmic in there, super fine glitter. Then when we get that um, cured enough that it can be wet or sprayed or whatever, we're going to do that. So if for some reason something goes sideways with the spray paint, it's easy to clean that off and then redo it again. You can just clean it off with acetone or whatever more gently without having to strip your whole cup. So I'm gonna grab my Cosmic and I'm gonna throw a thin layer over here, let it cure and we'll be back. I just had to show you all this really quickly. How cool is that difference? It seems like everything looks better under epoxy, right? Every hydro dip that I've ever questioned always looks better under epoxy. I love it. I didn't feel it necessary to record applying this layer, but I did want to just at least show you how cool that difference is. And I'm not trying to do it so thin like I'm doing a glitter layer, but I definitely want a good solid surface. I don't want to have any like accidental dry spots or anything. Uh, so we're going to continue doing that and then let it spin for about an hour. This is a quick set. I'll also put a link in the description if you want to try the liquidy split. 
or any other KS resin product. I've got a coupon code. I love this stuff. I even have more epoxy coming to try from another company. And uh, this is my favorite. So far, this is definitely my go-to. Another great thing is it kind of camouflaged where I messed up my cup. I like it. Everything looks better under epoxy. I love it. Hopefully you can see the sparkle on there. I don't think you can, but I'll show you in the sunlight whenever uh, we do the spray paint and the soap. All right. You know what the great thing is about liquidy split? This was just like an hour and a half ago and it is ready uh, to do what I need to do. It also helps that I had my shop light on it. So that's um, one thing that can help cure a little faster. So this is the spot I want to avoid getting too much soap on. So I have my Dawn Power Wash. It's apple scented, it smells so good. But uh, you can't really see the sparkles like I promised earlier because the sun is way behind the clouds right now. I don't know what's going on. But we're going to avoid that spot with the direct hit. We're gonna do that. And I just want it kind of, I'm just literally, I'm not doing a full blast, okay? I'm okay with a couple of spots being a little bit more intense than others, but not all of them. So now I'm gonna spray paint. And I have my lovely assistant at the water hose ready to turn it on for me. I'm gonna cover it completely. Okay, now we're gonna rinse it off. Quick, turn it on. Full <laughs> blast. Ow. All right. Yeah, turn it off. Oh, Good okay. grief, son. You're killing me, small. Okay. How cool is that? Right. I like it a lot. So now we're going to just let this spray paint dry. And I'll go ahead and put Cosmic in the top coat of this also, just for good measure. But it's super cool. I love all the little dots on there. Pretty great. Now I gotta figure out what to put on there. One thing to remember too is don't forget to clean out the inside of this before you do your final epoxy. It'll make it a little easier for cleanup and you won't have to worry about breaking your seal uh, right there. So now let's just put this to dry and we'll be all set. Okay, I've got the top coat on there. I put a little extra cosmic in this coat. You can see it now. I did have a spot just didn't quite come out as nice as it could have. But I am not gonna stress about it, not even a little bit. I mean, the whole thing is imperfect and irregular, so I'm not worried at all. So I hope you learned something from this video. I hope you enjoy it, I hope you try it. It's so cool, just all kinds of options. I actually have another base coated cup that I don't really have a purpose for. So I think I'm going to do the drizzle method on this one and um, kind of see how that turns out. This is Feather Bear Bling Aphrodite on a black base. So pretty. That's actually it in epoxy right there too. But on a black base, this does not have a home. So I'm going to do the, the pour liquid version uh, probably on the next video. doesn't have a purpose, so might as well give it a go. Uh, give it a go but that's it if you have any questions put them in the comments I'll do my best to answer them I know enough about stuff to be dangerous but not everything obviously and uh, if you like my channel and my videos please consider subscribing have a good one